Hello everybody and welcome back for another game we need to return to and this is Soulstone Survivors and this is the game I'm really really uh, glad to return to uh, always when there's a new patch and in between because this game is super fun and there's so many things and uh, that was a newly released patch that changed so many things about this game that I'm excited again to go back and try it out. For those who never seen this game before it's a bullet heaven game uh, it's uh, like Vampire Survivors but with, uh, with a different and things going on so we got like several like you can see we have so many characters that we can go with and that is a new character released i don't have this one open yet and today we will work on that so we will be playing as barbarian you can switch between the weapons and they, what they change right now is that the, uh, each weapon is uh, like focused on a different kind of element or set of skills so if i will go to the skills yeah there is <laughs> there's so many there's like 300 skills or something like that there's so many possibilities and uh, yeah it's it's actually crazy so we will go with the lightning so we will uh, we will focus on that one so that's that's the first thing that's a uh, crafting of the weapon so you can re um, collect the resources and co um, like craft the weapons that will give you different kind of like focus on the elements then you have runes runes uh, today we will be running with those two those versatility rules uh, runes are like kind of changing the things around in the game and those uh, tenacity will improve um, the um, or focus uh, on on some spells and things that you want to do in the game so I get the do those two that that's just for the materials. I want to collect as ma much materials as possible because I, I don't have every single weapon unlocked, so I'm focusing on those and I will get some uh, rerolls. And also uh, for uh, for the tenacity, we are going for a 25% uh, more damage when the Lord is alive. We will go for crit chance, so and this one uh, critical master will help with that. And then we have damage modifier, um, critical damage modifier will get up when they are dazed and disoriented. So hopefully we will get uh, some of those uh, stacks. Then we have a skill tree. This is the basic one, and and every single. Um, um, Every single character got his own skill tree with special uh, ability and with also other stuff that you can unlock inside. This is amazing. Then you have achievements, right? You will unlock new stuff. And that's about it. So let's go jump right into the game and, and see if we are able uh, to conquer um, this this um, this uh, level. So we are going for a sixth level, so it's not the highest possible. And uh, yeah, they, they change how many of those curses you need to advance. So it's not that big of a deal. So I can go like, if I want this, yeah, we are going with this. So I got this uh, selected, right? And yeah, this is just improving or increasing um, amount of things that will be uh, running at you. And those are the materials we will be able to get. So let's go jump into the game and see if we are able uh, to get through this. So here we are in the game and our first uh, thing is thundering slash so we are just uh, thundering through and what I know that they change a lot of things for example this this status effect above me that was not a thing before so uh, yeah they, they changed quite a lot of stuff around uh, just because th there was a, like issue with the game kinda um, there was so many projectiles that that was dropping on you that you couldn't done anything in the game. Not not anything, but you it was like dodge fest as as a hell. So they changed how it works, kind of. And uh, yeah, I have uh, played several games yesterday, and I have to say, it's better. It feels better. So yeah, that that's good. So Earth Shield, I never seen this one. Other than orbs rotated around you, causing damage to enemies and healing you on impact interesting so we can go with earth but i'm going with with lightning but so far let's go with earthquake and we will change it later nice so this is our ability now we are uh, big and strong we are raging oh there's some resources so let's take them and what i'm now trying to reach is at the point oh that's a good one you get more damage just 15 percent flat for everything that i do like it's not the best Mm, but it's not bad okay there is a new element or a new focus and that's the earth skill so they added a bunch of those so you know what uh let's go banish few of those i will not uh, take this block i will not take armor power that's not what i'm going for thundering slash 
Yeah, we can uh, increase the damage of Thundering Slug by 30%. I don't know how 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 good it will be in uh, later, but yeah. Oh, this will kill you instantly. That's the guy that will just go around all the time, and if you are near this th this thing, you will die. Just <laughs> send of blood. Yeah, we will. We will. Um, what do we have? We get swing, frontal. So let's go with savage strike. This one is also okay. Let's go with this one. Uh, as I said, I want to go with electricity, but yeah, there is not no, not many skills like that. Oh, but look at that, we just crushing them. Uh, rage unleashed. Increase the amount of rage you gain while your health is below 30%. That's interesting. But I think it's time for us. Okay, let, let's take it. 25%. It's okay. I could uh, reroll, but we will get to the rerolls later for sure. There's not many rerolls, so. Lethality. That's good. And bloodshed. I don't want to go with this one. So lethality, because crit chance is something we need. Uh, the electricity or electric skills benefit from uh, from crits and also the feed into that. So have crit chance increased. It's good. Oh, nice. Lightning surge. So we are getting back to the, the lightning. Good. Increase your movement speed and cause all your other uh, uh, skills to apply days temporarily. Huh, interesting. Let's go with that. But maybe I will change it later as well. Okay. Movement speed increase. So yeah, the movement speed is nice to increase. Because uh, later, uh, it's really problematic to dodge only with the, with the dodges. So, area effect of thundering slash. Yeah, let's go increase that. Alright. Damage increase. Damage of physical skills. Like, for now, it's the three skills out of everything. Let's go. It's a 50% for now. Yeah. Uh, some of the lightning skills that we will have, it will be uh, will be physical as well. So, that's good. Oh, yeah. Now, we have Thundering Strike. I'm not kind of fan, but we will take it. Because it's uh, it's uh, electric, electric. But it's magical. It's not physical. It's magical. And I would love to go a lot more like physical electricity. Yeah, we will we will be fighting a few of those. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> oh my god. Thundering strike plus 30%. Alright, another one will be spawning. Yeah, they changed this one as well. How how this works. And sharp blades. And this is absolutely new mechanic kind of. For each skill you have, type swing, increase the modifier of your skills without the swing. So you can go mix mismatch, and this is really good for it. So what how many of those I have? This is swing. This is not. This is this is yeah. It is not. So that's two skills. So yeah, that's a lot of crit chance. Let's go for it. Let's go with this. And the last but not least. Oh, you thought you will hit us with this? Okay, that's just a lot of damage. Titan's Cleave. Slam Groundbreak. Okay, Earth Bolt. Let's go Titan Cleaver. Uh, slashes target direction causing damage multiplied on your block power. But we are not going there, right? Creates a crack in the ground. Okay, let's go with this one. All right, that's done. And there is one more. Oh, yeah, there is one more. One more dude to be killed. Oh, so far we doing fine. Okay, agile would be nice. Bloody saw, I don't want that. Increased area modifier. Yeah, let's go with a little bit of movement speed. I think it's good enough. I didn't want to go for those others because I want to change them for lightning, but maybe that will not happen in this one. Reduce amount of rage consumed while enraged. Yeah, the enrage is kind of cool. It's just working always in our favor. Because we are slashing through those enemies and just we will get it. Okay, what do we have? Build a power conductor at your position for a few seconds. That fires electric rays. Let rotate around it, causing damage and applying days gain electrified. Now that's nice. But, um, I don't know, it's a physical, so it will get buffed, and it's electric, so I will change it for something, I don't know for what. Earthquake? I kinda uh, change it for Earthquake. 
Yeah, the last patch, they added one thing that is okay. That's that's kind of cool. Uh, they added one thing that's really cool, and I wanted to, to have it in the game, like, for so long. Okay, we will go magnetic, because this one is also good. But we are not slashing that much, so no. Let's go magnetic. Just we will get those XP uh, quicker, and also uh, it will just improve how much XP we're getting, so more levels, I'll take it. Uh, what I wanted to say, huh? What I was talking about. Oh yeah, uh, that they added one thing that's really cool. Okay, we are going with this. And that's this, skill breakdown. That was the thing that you saw only at the end of the game. When you finish the game, you could see the breakdown and you see that what uh, what abilities done what damage, right? But now you can go inside this menu like every time you want and you are like, okay, I can switch things around. I had new, new skill selection, for example. So uh, you can see like total damage, like the power conductor now nothing right it seems that it's doing not much ground break right and you can see earthquake just yeah i switched that 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 thing around because it was nothing but thundering slash i don't want that because uh, i don't want to skip it because those two just uh discharge and and this is doing so much so yeah that's that's how it goes and it's really cool and uh you can like see what what build you are going for because sometimes you are like is this uh, is this uh, ability hitting or or something because there was a lot of enemies that pouring onto you and there are some uh, some um, abilities that didn't have the reach for example but you couldn't see really if it's hitting or not so now you can with this uh, see it better let's go replace choices with passive powers damage modify okay we'll increase it by 45% so kill those elites. Agile. Ah. Ooh. You know what? I will lock skill agile and I will go with the uh, thundering strike because thundering strike is doing the the most damage for us right now and I want the agile. I need a little bit more movement speed because look at that. When I'm not raging, it's just I'm so slow and that's not good. The slow when you are slow, mm. You are able, you, you can see, I am able to run out of the ability without using uh, the dash. And that's so good, because um, you can use those dashes, like, for the really, really uh, bad situations. Lightning Bolt? I don't want that. I don't, even though it's electrified, I don't want magic. So let's skip, and we are going for a crit chance. Because with the uh, rune we took, oh, we are... Uh, gaining like uh crit damage based on crit chance what we have so it's nice to to go for a crit chance because we will get crit damage okay oh, i thought i will get a hit maybe yep he's dead Ooh. Again, whenever you cast skill of type swing you have chance to casting another one of your current skill with type slam what slam do we have we have only one right but there could be like something that we will get as uh, because there is a thunderclap i think uh it's named ah <sighs> that's tough all right let's lock the skill and i will take a child and i will think about it even though that's not the the best way how to do it but i don't want to think forever yeah let's take it okay Maybe it's like uh, not the best choice, right? Oh, he's going. Oh, chain lightning. But it's magical. But I'm like, yeah. But we can't now go with this one because that's the only slam we have. We can go with this. Like change what uh, Bloody Saw is doing. It's not that bad. Power conductor. It's kind of getting there, but no, right? Let's switch it for a bloody saw. Let's do it because I like the chain lightning. That's so fun. Look at that, how it's going around and it's just doing a lot of damage. Ah, uh, be good. And there is one more guy we need to uh, kill. Yo, what's up? 
Hopefully next time they will add more uh, boss variety. The bosses are something that is lacking and I think they, they, they know about it, so it will come later. Are they adding so much new content and so many possibilities? It's just absolutely crazy. There are still things that I, I would love them to add, like for example uh, the events on the map. I got them uh, uh, not allowed, like there are like pylons that can spawn in, in the game. And let's go reroll. God damn it. Something good. Banish. I will not go for Leviathan and I could not go for max health. Let's go uh, one more. Mm. All right. Oh, multicast. Okay. Let's go with multicast. Sure. So... Yeah, I would love them to add more bosses. That would be one that I would love to have. And a second one that would be better because it's like arena, right? There are like things that are going on. I would love them to add more like events, like chest will spawn and you need to stay in the circle. The basic ones, right? It, it just would crash the monotony to run around. That's the one thing that I'm like complaining in all uh, Bullet Heaven games. And yeah, this is not the exception. It's just, I think it's much better to have something going on just running and then just running around. But the complexity of the spells and the amount of things that you can combine together, this game is so good. Just so many possibilities and, and fun builds. It's just, yeah, combining with the with the classes that you will take Hunter and then you're going for missiles and everywhere, arrows, and then you switch for Barbarian that is smashing ground and it's just... The, the fantasy of those, those plays is just on the different level. Uh, I just absolutely love it about this game. But there are some things about, yeah, uh, about the progression of of, uh, of the things mm, in the game like itself could be better. But if I, like, the amount of changes they made over the years or over the thing that I'm attack speed of groundbreak, I don't know if I want that. Let's go critical chance of battle. Yeah, let's go with this one because uh, we are kind of close to them. So this is just crit chance. So more crit we will get, the better. Um, yeah, over the years or over the time I play this game, they added so many, so many positive things that I feel that uh, they, they know. They know what's going on and they will introduce but they they worked on on the basic levels now right the, the this patch was like aiming for a, a fixing the things that that there were like issues with and there were so many enemies and it was just dodge fest everywhere was red circles and you couldn't like stop for even second you had to run one way and you had to do a big circles and it was like yeah that's kind of not that good increase the multicast chance of the skill electric this is nice, right? Because that's a five skills. That's a five skills we have. So yeah, that's a that's a big amount of multicast. So hopefully next time they will introduce more a uh, more like content, like uh, really gameplay wise. But for example, the runes and and progression, absolutely like crazy. Like when they edit the the. Um, the skill tree for every single uh, every single uh, character. I was like, what the hell? That's that's on different level. This this patch. Blade Storm. Blade Storm is super cool when you have because it's uh, really good for uh, triggering other abilities. But we are not going with that. Uh, cast frequency plus thirty percent. Yeah, why not? Yeah, this one is dead. Oh my god, the multicast. Look at those things, how it's going to like around because uh, we got... Re oh no, we got really big multicast. We need to wait for him to just stop. Otherwise we can't go really close. Oh my god, just killed him. Lethality, why not? Uh, I could like watch how many, uh, how much crit chance I have right now. Because uh, maybe I don't have to add more crit chance, who knows. Let me see. Critical damage? No, critical chance. 65%. Alright. Oh, hello. 
those elites coming after me. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, more of those things, right? That there is a there is the guy. Oh, 90%. We're just going for the basic ability, like no tomorrow. Uh, they added like those those shadows that that following you, right? And and trying to get you. More of those things. I'm just excited about the, the breaking the monotony. So that would be nice. Reroll, please. Body slam, piercing shout. No, I don't care. And I don't care either. Area effect? Yeah, let's go with area effect. At least we will swing a little bit further. And that means that if there will be heated moment and we will not be able to get it, we will because uh, we will reach a little bit further. Okay, we got 12 out of uh, out of 20 lords, so, so yeah, more lords are coming. There is one thing in the seventh um, seventh uh, difficulty that you can you can go and activate all the bosses at once, and that's that's kind of like fun, right? Because there are like five bosses at once running at you. But yeah, the 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 amount of bosses is like crucial now. Because it's, it feels like there are still like six bosses or something, and they are still like always. Um, there's not no no change between those. Damage modifiers. I don't know if something got reached more than uh, than 12 meters. Not sure. Maybe this one. But it's just like, is it really worth it? I don't think so. Go reroll. Okay. Okay, we will collect everything. Oh, another one. Bang. Alright, those skulls. Those skulls are everywhere. Alright. We good. Alright, we got it. Armor shatter. Interesting, but no. Let's go. Great chance. Yep. We are getting the damage done, but it feels like we are going down with damage. Oh no. Skill chain. Ooh. This is good. This is really good. 10% chance when I will go for electric, because I'm going quite a lot, I will go instantly to the swing, and we have some swings, so... This will just improve my damage so much. Okay, there's one more to go. Oh, hello. And they changed one more thing, and uh, there was like two possibilities. When you ended up run, you could go for endless, so you could just follow and uh, go for another, another. Just, just you know, cycle through the content, and you will get better and better. And there was another one, and I, in my opinion, those two things were absolutely the same. It was like boss rush or something like that. And uh, functionally, it was just absolutely the same thing for me. And they changed the whole like. Uh, Oh, think it's uh, uh, working differently. So I'm excited to check that one out because I uh, haven't checked that one uh, so far. So I don't know. But last time I played, uh, that was not possible to go through the portal. So I don't know if, the, for example, you have to be like level seven only. The, the last earth bolt area effect thundering slash. Yeah. Okay, they, those those things are incredible. Oh, they are circling around. Okay, it's some some. Uh, yeah, we could go around and collect collect those notes just to have some uh, some resources because, quite quite frankly, the, this is what we need to unlock more weapons and more stuff to be able to go again with the with the different build and so on. All right, do we see something good? Oh, there is one, and there are elites. So. Let's stop for a minute and just kill everything. Yeah, almost, almost there. 600 enemies to kill. So, all 
All right, tactical advantage. We don't want reroll. Reroll. Damage increase. Or damage. Okay, let's go with this one. <laughs> it's just going for uh for the yeah thundering slash twenty five million. Power conductor is going there uh, also. A lightning discharge is our uh, ability from the lightning things, so that's quite a lot. Thundering strike doing nothing. Look at that. Kind of. 5 million. Groundbreak is the worst about the bunch. Lightning surge is helping the others. And there is the red goat. Oh yeah, bosses. Last bosses. But again, same bosses as before. So that's, uh, again, I'm uh, repeat myself like over and over. But that's the thing that they need to work on. That that will like enhance the gameplay and, uh, and, and the long play like for, for a long time. Just to go for variety. Just because at the beginning when the game started, when I was originally played this game, when it was released or beta or something, there was not even like like first early access or maybe even before that there was the thing that there was like i don't know like six type of enemies something like that like goblins uh, bomb goblins and and something and it was on all maps it doesn't even matter if you went through uh, the desert or or this map so there was like five or four maps at the time and yeah the, it was like pointless and they added like so many variety of enemies so each single map got a different kind of like um different map let's go lock scale and let's go damage increase um it got different enemies enemy types so it's exciting right to see like different different things to fight with um so that's cool. So they could like use that and bring those those things into bosses. I would not mind if there would be like big, big wasp. Like you know, you're fighting small wasps and that would be boss, that would be like a uh, hive queen, right? And I think that would be so good. Just use the use the things that you use. L look at how many uh, attacks they have, right? They not have many. So the, the co queen could go around. They they could like really big sting, right? That would like throw a uh, poison, I don't know, or or they would go, ooh, increase the area modifier of lightning. Come on. So I want that one as well, but this one is just better. Uh I think that would be good. Just use the, the things that you have, just make it bigger, make a few of those attacks like flesh out and just pull it out. If they would get to like 50 of those bosses, they would be like not mediocre, right? They wouldn't. They don't have to be really that special. I, I would rather go with like this, this end would be like uh, elite enemies, like not elite, but champions, right? The big version of those, for, for example, this frog or this shaman would be so big and he would get uh, like few attacks more. And those bosses like this golem would be even bigger and it would be like last boss. And that would be only one. You would, uh, you would like go through this, you would kill 20 bosses and you would go for a boss room. And there would be like the big guy in the middle of the room and, and uh, he would have even more flesh out like um, abilities. That would be the best. And have like 50 of those uh, those bosses that, that come at you and at the end. I think that would, uh, that would add so much to the game. And those events, those are, those are the things, but it seems that we finished, right? Oh yeah, look at that. There are three portals. This is the endless. This is the end. And let's go check it out. This is the new new thing. So we get it everything and we unlock the new character. That's what it is. So now this is the new elim eliminated Lords of the Void. Okay. And we are continuing forward. Oh, they, oh my God. This is whole new map and also also new enemies. I don't think that I saw those bats around. That's good. Even though it, it doesn't really matter, right? If you are slashing through the bats or or bugs or something, but in the end, it's just it's making the variety, and that's 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 a lot. That's a lot. So I love that. So we need to kill eliminate elite monster summon. We need to kill elite monsters to summon uh, something. So, okay, we killed three so far. 
and those normal... Oh, Relentless. The class frequency, 20%. That's just amazing. I will be able to slash 20% uh, uh, more. That's just amazing to get. Go with a little bit more. <laughs> Look at those stars everywhere. Oh my god. Yeah, but my damage is not not good. Look at that. Oh, oh it's slow down, right? I, I'm not able to get through that uh, fast enough. 11. And what I, what I can see, which is super cool to see, that the the um, uh, the optimization of the game went a lot better from before. They're still working on the optimization of the game because I remember back then it was just impossible to go that long and and have really like not have frame rate issues, especially when I was recording the videos. I I had to constantly look on my on my um, stats. I was like, yeah, I, I was in the in the middle of the game or something, and then I needed to pull down the effects of of uh, the abilities because make them transparent, because otherwise it just that was the hit for frame rate like big time. So it's really nice to see that they're still working on it, and it's not issue anymore. I think it will be something to do with uh, with approach they made uh, that they uh, to toned down how many enemies spawning or so so on. But I have to say, I don't I don't kind of see it. Like, it's not that I would be like, yeah, they toned down the enemies. This is not good as much because uh, there are not many enemies anymore. That's not what it is. So I, I'm glad that uh, that's the thing because um, when I. Uh, Last time, I, I when I was reading patch notes, I was like, yeah, that's the good solution. But on the other hand, not quite the one that uh, I would love to see. <laughs> and talking about it, now I, I think there is a lag, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> so I need to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's just, I don't know. They need to work on that again. Uh... Skill selection detail. No, where it is? Rumble intensity. What? Health. Crosshair. It's not possible anymore? Oh, special effects and visibility. Let's, let's go for a half. Yeah, it's graphics. Oh, it's still bad. Okay. So that, yeah, that's... That's, and I got really good computer, so uh, at least I got good enough to play this game, right? But as you can see, it's complicated, but there is a lot of enemies. But this is a new map, so maybe the, this new map, how they released, is not optimized as much as the other one. Because the, the before it wasn't the issue, right? At least I don't think uh, I saw that there is a lag or anything. So... Yeah, we eliminate one lord. So, you know what? It's time, I guess, we will not go through the whole thing. Oh, tender clap! Where have you been? Yeah, and we are going replacing with the slam. So now we have another electric. So now we are full electric. I would switch a few things around for sure. But on the other hand, I think we are good. Oh no, I'm ru running around in the small circles to be able to hit him. Is he dead? Yes, he is. And uh, it's interesting because uh, they changed the thing around. So now, uh, battle stance. Yeah, this one is good. Oh, I died once. I don't. I don't care that much anymore. I just wanted to see the whole the new map and how it goes. And they change the things around, so you will kill like 600 enemies, and then you are going for void all, all like always. Or what, what is the what is the difference, man? What is the difference? Or when I kill this one, I will get it will be same as before. I don't understand. I thought that they they introduced like the map is sh uh, like clo um, smaller, right? So you can't have like really to hide or anything like that. So that's that's nice. Expansive would be good, but we are uh, we want the 
thund thunderclap to be uh, like better. Oh yeah, see, so he is dead. And uh, eliminate Lord War. Okay, eliminate elite monsters. So it's just when from normal enemies kill 600 enemies to kill elite enemies and then uh, go for a void. I don't know about this, but it's it's maybe a groundwork for something they they have it uh, have in mind for future. Because they if they would have more bosses like as I oh monkey oh that's that's the one that's the new character. Uh, if they would have more more bosses to play with. They could go, like, just uh, ignore the elites to kill and just go for the bosses, right? But if they have five bosses, it's kind of, it would be, uh, like, boring. But I would love to see this arena to be just, like, boss rush. Just enormous amount of bosses going for you. Like, spawn 20 at once. <laughs> I don't know. Something like that. Just, uh, yeah, that's maybe ridiculous. But uh, multicast It's just bad. Good, 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 good. Uh, I think that will be better, but you know what? It's time for us to kind of die and just just leave it be because yeah Why why to bother? Eliminate total 300,000 enemies <laughs> what achievement what achievement? okay like this slashing me even though I'm dead <laughs> So we made a few few levels. I don't think that will be like yeah four levels <laughs> That's something Okay, let's go back to the menu and we will check out uh, the possibilities, what we unlock. Yeah, we got the new new 410 uh, yellow. We don't have enough yellows, but we will do that. So we got the Monkey King. So that's the that's the new new character. And we can go and, and play with this guy. And also we made several um, like levels. So we got six points to spend. The first I want to go is increase damage modifier of all your slam skills. And this, is, this note is for every single character you have. Okay, we got a lot of reds and we got greens. So now th this is the best because that will apply to every single one I have on my, on my roster. So even though I will be playing something else, I will benefit from this. So that's good. And we got a few more. For example, area modifier is good for uh, for melee classes because you want that reach. The reach is something you need. And I'm getting on minor souls really low. I got uh, I got uh, almost like a million and now I have like 200,000. We are going down. We need to farm. Oh my. Oh my. But yeah, there is so many let me know uh, down below in the comment section what character you would love to see or if you would love me to go for uh, for the Monkey King and try this one out. Uh, but there is so many, right? Death Knight, there is a Necromancer, there is a Legionnaire, Elementalist, Assassin, Beastmaster, Chaos Walker, Paladin, Sentinel, Arcane Weaver, Spellblade, Houndmaster, Pyromancer, and Barbarian. And what is crazy, when you look at the skill tree, right? There is a, there is the Monkey King, there's a new thing. And there is so many that are not unlocked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there, there will be seven more characters that will add more stuff to the game. So yeah, that's that's just that's just a lot of content for you. I think this game got so much content and there's so much grind you can go through and, and unlock all those things. And I think that's something that in other games missing, that you have like the the concept right that you go into the game, but the meta progression is lacking. So you will go kill a bunch of enemies, which is super cool, but you have nothing to unlock kinda. Or there is like small things that you will, like 1% up, 1%, 2% something. But here you have so many options. And I think that's, that's really, really good for the game. So yeah, that's all for Soulstone Survivors for today. Let me know if you want to see Monkey King or someone else and I will bring it to you. Because, yeah, this game is exciting. So, yeah, that's all. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for your time. Meanwhile, you can click on the videos above me and you can get something else. Or you can wait. And I will bring another video really, really soon.